Hey what's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about my settings, it's been highly requested in the comments of my previous videos, and I think it's time to finally talk about it. Admittedly I don't really know that much about like the quote unquote best settings for everything, I just know what's best for me personally and my personal preference, so we're just going to go through it now. So we're going to talk about the 3D settings first. Of course if we go to the first tab it, I have emphasis on performance, but let's go down here to the settings that you can really like play with and pretty much I have everything set to the lowest thing possible. I'm just going to scroll through a little bit here so you guys can take a look here. Um, anything to note and I'll let you know. Shader cache is on. Um, texture filtering is on. Um, texture filtering quality though is uh, high performance and that, that's pretty important in my opinion. Um, threaded optimization it's set to auto and it'll do it by itself. Triple buffering off, V-Sync off, that's really important by the way, um, make sure that V-Sync is off, that way you're not capping your FPS at 60. Um, I don't have anything else really um, of note, uh, of course I am on 240 hertz. Um, my color settings are like this, um, I don't really care about like digital vibrance or anything, like a lot of people play on digital vibrance because it helps them see better, but personally it's just way too saturated for me and I can't play like that. So yeah, I mean... Here's my color settings if you guys are interested in those, and let's see if there's anything else here. Um, I don't play black bars in CS, so what I do is I set, set it to full screen, uh, perform scaling on GPU, and then of course, um, that's how that you, that's how you get 4.3 stretched. Here's some more color settings, and that's pretty much it. Nothing really interesting in the NVIDIA thing. Most of it's set to default, if not everything is set to the lowest. Moving into Steam, you can take a look at my launch options. Of course, I have no vid. It just gets rid of the uh, intro cutscene. Tick rate 128 if you want to practice uh, throwing grenades on an offline server. And uh, you can set the tick rate to 128. This is really good. No joy. I don't really know what this does, but everybody always says to put it in for FPS. I don't, I, I don't know. I just have it and it doesn't cause me any issues. So I'll just leave it in. Frequency uh, 240 and refresh 240, that just sets your refresh rate to 240 Hz, and uh, if you have a different um, refresh rate, make sure you change it, so 144, um, 75, 120 even, um, just replace the numbers there. Moving into game, I don't really have anything special, I don't think, but we're going to go ahead and start here. My brightness is on 110%, um, my resolution, 4.3, um, 1280 by 1024 um, laptops power it pretty much the basics now this is where things are gonna get a little different um, to most people that you see okay um, global shadow quality is low model texture detail low um, texture streaming disabled uh, I've heard that it doesn't really make a difference to have it on or off but I just have it off because it just seems like it would be better now right here effect and shader detail are both set to low now I understand why people set it to high so they can see through Molotovs but in my personal experience I've only really ever died from not being able to see through a molly maybe once every 15 20 games that happens and sometimes you know it could happen more frequently depending on like how aggressive I'm feeling on that day but like in a study that was posted by a guy that like he ran the benchmarks on all of the different settings, he says that having the effect and shader detail on all high um, actually takes up to 12% of your normal FPS. And I don't know about you guys, but having 12% less FPS constantly so that you can get maybe one or two more kills in 15 or so games, it just doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense in my opinion. Um, I'm, I'm sure at the high level you absolutely would make that because uh, they have FPS to, to give up and it doesn't matter, right? I don't really think I have FPS to give up. I'm always making content. I just want to make sure that I'm always running, you know, comfortably for me and... Like I said, I, I just think that it's just better this way. Of course, boost, boost player contrast enabled. Multi-core rendering, of course, is also enabled. If you have this off, then you're basically just kneecapping F your FPS. Anti-aliasing, none. Every, pretty much everything else is set to the lowest, except for Uber er, uh, except for Uber shaders. Now, according to 3 Clicks Philip, the Uber shaders, um, it's best set to auto because it's whatever your PC can handle. And if you set it to anything that's not auto, it, you could, like, mess something up, but, like, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference, so I just set it to auto, so it's on. Moving into the audio settings, which is also something that not a lot of people talk about. Um, 
So for me, my main volume when I play is set to 0.5. You guys, if you watch my stream, you'll see me adjust my um, audio a lot, but d like, just depending on what I'm doing. So with the new headset, um, we have it set to stereo speakers. That's the best so that you can hear everything. Um, and then volume percentages, you basically just have everything off um, except for the 10 second warning. I leave the MVP volume on just because I like to hear the music kits occasionally. Um, and the main menu is at 1% so that like I can get the... So moving into the game settings, I mean, I don't really think there's anything crazy to talk about, but I will just scroll through. Most of this is HUD related. Now, um, of course, at the bottom we have the crosshair as well, but that's not going to be too important. Everybody knows what my crosshair looks like, and if you don't, um, check out my stream and type exclamation point crosshair and you'll get a crosshair code to enter right in to the uh, the option. Now, I, I don't really know if keyboard and mouse, this is just like config and stuff. In case you guys didn't know, my sensitivity is um, 0 0.26 at 2000 DPI. Um, and my zoom sensitivity is 1.2. So, you know, take that for what you will. I'm not really trying to go through and show you all of my keybinds, so we'll just move on to the end of the video. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for stopping by and checking out this uh, settings video and walkthrough. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys subscribe. By the time you're watching this, we probably hit 100 subscribers, which is absolutely huge, and I can't thank you guys enough. So, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.